Guys, I cannot wait to check her closet out. Hello everybody, my name is Aina Mehta and welcome to What's in My Wardrobe, a show wherein we give you guys a closet tour of your favorite celebrities. For today's episode, we have someone who has paved her way right from teaching at a preschool to acing her game in fashion, beauty and travel. Popularly known as the Snob Journal, she's none other than my favorite fashion influencer, Ashna Shroff. Come. That is her closet. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I am good. How are you? Good. And the closet is lovely. Thank you so I much. I have to say that. <laughs> uh, Ashna, this is definitely like have you seen on your Instagram the hard work you've put in for your wardrobe I really have. <laughs> and the love you have for your interiors. You have snob home. Yeah. Uh, tell me what exactly was the inspiration behind why did you go for like an all white theme and. Mm -hmm. My job is content creation, and I need to make sure that the space I am in looks good. Good, yeah. Because um, obviously, it's in all my pictures and videos, so I knew that I really wanted to do it well. And I have um, studied like basic interior design a couple of years ago, so I was always interested in doing up a space, but I just never had the chance to. And of course, Pinterest is our biggest inspiration. <laughs> my wardrobe is literally Pinterest inspired. So. This is the wall we've seen on most every of video. <laughs> reels her videos her shoots so yeah. now that i'm seeing it in reality i know that it's so pretty and now i just can't wait <laughs> for your closet tour so let's, let's dive it. into it so let's start with this section right here it's actually one of my favorites this is where i keep all of my like quad sets like i have suits and blazers and they're all like with their matching bottoms and you always like emphasize a lot on your like airport looks oh is my this God. your airport closet as well kind of yes like i have this set which is like a set of joggers and a sweater which is what i plan to wear the next time i travel and this is actually my favorite because it's a new purchase and i haven't even worn it yet it was part of the limited edition adidas collection and i bought the entire set like the pants the bodysuit and the jacket and it's I love it. a lovely color Thank like you. Pastels, i am obsessed yeah. yeah pastels and this shade of green yeah. it just looks so good so i don't think this will be an airport look but i just love wearing suits Okay, so let's see the next one. Yeah, we can move on to my dresses now. So here we have my dresses. We have shorter dresses here and longer ones there, and a couple of jumpsuits in the corner as well. I think Ashna, if I'm not wrong, you went from neutrals to like doing a little neon. Yeah. To um, you know, power dressing and now into prints. A lot of prints. And <laughs> I think that is reflecting in is. her closet as well. So, uh, what was the one thing that right? when you started blogging till date has been constant that has not changed in terms of fashion for you honestly i think one thing that's been constant for me is shirt dresses so um if you see something like this like this is a satin shirt dress and it's something that i've owned for like years but over the years i've kind of started wearing a lot of longer dresses like more midi more maxi so i think just a couple of months ago i bought a new shirt dress so i think the whole idea is that There are certain things that are constant. I will always reach out to shirt dresses, but as my style changes, everything changes. And what was that one thing that when you started, you were like, "I love this. I'm never going to get bored of it," and oh, now yeah. you won't look at it. Do you have any um, dress like that? I think I have this one here. I'm going to try and grab yeah. it. One second. Okay. Um, so I have this. That's a more like. cream color which i would still wear today but i used to buy like these really heavy boiler suit kind of jumpsuits and i was obsessed with them and i would spend so much money on them <laughs> but now i don't really wear them anymore it's really weird um i think my style has just become a lot more feminine over the years which is why i'm very into printed dresses and yes. frills and wrap dresses and all of that and i'm noticing this one shimmery <laughs> There's just thing, one there which is very unlikely ashna i'll grab I'm it i'm so very curious to know it. what this is is it like a new year outfit this is exactly oh, what it was you got it bang on this okay. is a zara like um sequin yeah. dress yeah that i picked up i think when i was traveling new years was like almost there so i was like i don't know what i'm going to wear i'll just get it and i got it but it never fit me it's nice it's a major red carpet outfit like i can maybe imagine maybe that is where i should wear it yes 
Anyway, now that you've seen all my formal dresses, let's move on to something more casual. Yes. Okay, so here I have my more casual stuff like shirts, t-shirts and crop tops and stuff like that. And I also have like even my bottoms are very color coordinated here, but like of course there are like a mix of shirts and t-shirts, but this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe like a lot of people see me wearing like indian designers and pieces like this but i also have a side to me that loves disney and this cruella t-shirt is something i wear all the time so tell me one thing ashna looking at this uh, t-shirt it's so basic and so simple yeah do you feel a sense of pressure to always be you know decked up prim and proper because it's ashna shop the blog <laughs> so even if you're going down do you feel like i need to be dressed up um honestly there was a time when i did feel that pressure and even if i just went down for a coffee i would feel like oh i need to dress up but there's also a side of me that has always been very real on social media like i've I've had that kind of me I don't think it's confidence but there was a point where I would go make up free show my acne talk about my skin struggles so I felt like everybody knew that side to me so it was fine no matter how I was dressed but also I feel like today things have changed so much and people are so accepting like you don't have to be conscious but there is also a side of me that loves to dress up so I do sometimes so basically niche we mainly have bottoms um let me show you these two drawers have blue jeans <laughs> but i do wear a lot of white cream and neutral bottoms which is here and i have a lot of joggers which are like airport outfits daily coffee runs whatever you want to do now let me show you something very exciting because okay. if you are someone who loves jewelry or accessories oh this my is my jewelry God. drawer <laughs> i mean you guys have to have a look at this um i am actually stunned there is so much going on <laughs> and it's so well organized there's also a lot of indian jewelry because i love my indian jewelry my right God, here my god like oxidized i think this statement is statement pieces definitely like heavy earrings and just a simple chicken curry kurta oh my god beautiful now that you've seen my indian jewelry let me show you some of my indian pieces maybe i can tell you about some things that i wear a lot or that people have seen on my social media um this is a masaba skirt that i i just love her prints and i'm obsessed with it but this one actually has quite a story two or three years ago for diwali my mom and i just went bought fabric got it dyed and just made a lehenga and um i just love how it turned out and i got so many comments and so much love on this outfit it was probably one of my like most loved outfits ever since i started blogging okay let me show you my winter wear So this is the section of my wardrobe that basically comes in handy in the winters or when I travel. We don't have proper winters in Bombay so I do wear a few sweaters. But this is my current favorite piece. Um it's a label Ritu Kumar puffer oh. jacket and it has like the coolest print. So Seems I love it. It's like also ever since I have entered this wardrobe my nazar is going on those luxury <laughs> bags. So um obviously you can see that I have Most of my luxury handbags right here like literally above my wardrobe kind of on display but it's honestly something I'm so proud of and um, it's a collection that I've built over 5 years as someone who started out with literally nothing this is a very big deal for me I'm very curious to know which has been your first luxury purchase and when was it Um so that Givenchy Antigona was the first luxury bag luxury purchase ever my first luxury purchase ever It was in 2016 I think sometime around June or July I was in the UK for a work thing and I had saved up money that I had earned and I was like okay this is going to be such a big deal I did research on which bag I wanted to get and um, just you know swiping my card at the store was so scary and to see in 5 years I've like come quite a long way and those two bags like they're very color striking <laughs> let me show you they're actually I... my um, most recent purchases Okay. This is like a little Balenciaga, the hourglass. I love the color, like I said, pastels. And um, can I have a look? Yeah, please do. It's quite a lovely color, and it's especially really like purple, cute. lavender being yeah. in trend. And this was my birthday gift from me to me. Oh, you want me to grab that? I'm getting Bagwati vibes. <laughs> also, Thank I'm seeing so a door right here. Um, I'm assuming <laughs> that's your shoe closet. It is. So um, I am a shoe hoarder. I will warn really? you before you see that room. <laughs> I have way too many shoes. But so, are you a sneaker person or are you a heels person? 
I think a bit of both. Like when I travel, I want my sneakers. Hmm. I want my like chunky sneakers that are super comfortable. And ये जो collection है, this is कितने सालों का collection? Um, I think before I started vlogging, some shoes must be like seven, eight years old because obviously my shoe size hmm. won't change. And I really feel like we say fashion repeats itself. There are yeah. shoes that I haven't worn in five years that I will again wear today because that's just yeah. how fashion works. So unless something gets completely ruined. I don't like get rid of it because I do take very good care. So what we did is basically we've asked a few of your fans on Pinkula's Instagram okay. uh, to ask you a few wardrobe related mm -hmm. questions yeah. and we've curated those questions and put it in a oh, board. We start with neon since we've spoken <laughs> so much about neon. <laughs> so the underscore tiny uh, bibliophile has what's your go-to outfit choice? Um, I think it's pretty obvious by now, but I love cord sets. So I think if I need to dress up, but I can't think of what to pair together, I just wear the same thing, top and bottom, and I'm good to go. Okay, next, Shakti S S K. Yeah, we have Shakti underscore S S K. Most worn piece. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think um, my Cruella T-shirt. Oh, okay. The most worn piece in my wardrobe. Okay, let's go with the next one. Shweta Kadakia asked, "What is my favorite comfortable outfit?" I think the airport looks that we spoke yeah. about, the drawer full of joggers, joggers and t-shirts and sweatshirts. And yeah, I have got such a tour that I know. <laughs> yeah, and chunky sneakers. Yeah. So Sadia underscore A Patel says, "What is your most treasured pair of denims?" Hmm. Okay, I have this pair of. Denims that was part of the Gigi Hadid collection for Tommy Hilfiger. I'm a sucker for limited edition stuff, <laughs> and um, like I said, a lot of my pieces might not even fit me, but they're there because they have memories attached to them. So probably that. Okay, and uh, yeah, one last question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pranjal Ghankar says, which is the most common color in your wardrobe? White has to be. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Even if it's not like on. Display it, definitely my drawers are full of white stuff. So thank you so much, Ashna, for doing this. This was truly fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed the tour. Thank and you. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun, and I'm so happy that everybody's gonna get to actually watch this on the channel. If you guys like it, please like the video and subscribe to Pinkula's channel and share it, of course. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>